Hey -o, everyone, this is Risemonger signing on. Oh boy, I can see the commotion this'll cause already. Yes, I am playing with the flog. Why you may ask? Because I can. And also, I cannot rightly call myself a pyro main and not even make an attempt of using everything in this arsenal. Admittedly, it's not the most courteous of loadouts, but since when has we pyro mains ever claimed to be courteous? At our core, we are a class of punishment. You get too close, you get burned. Like what I did with that scout right then. Wasn't really a smart idea to rush at a normal pyro with a melee weapon and little health, let alone a flog pyro. Silly goober. But anyway, for this loadout, I'm bringing along with me a scorch shot and a power jack. Not what you'd normally see flog pyros carrying, but I wouldn't exactly call myself a typical pyro main. I do what is comfortable to my playstyle. And people can claim as much as they want that the scorch shot doesn't take skill. But all I shall say in return is, rocket and pill splash damage is much wider and does more damage. At best, the scorch shot is annoying, but for this it does its purpose. Which is, of course, charging the flog meter. As for the flog itself, I wouldn't really say that it's overpowered. As, you know, it- oh! Hello spy! That was weird. But yeah, I wouldn't say the flog is overpowered, despite the free crits you can get. Half the time you don't even get to even utilise them, just like I didn't. To be frank, it's the roll of the dice, as one of three things can happen. You can get your kills, no problem, you can run into no one, or you just straight up die. Usually into players that know what they're doing. Oh, I heard that. Come here, spy. There we are. So no, I don't believe the flock is overpowered. In fact, I believe it's actually Pyro's worst flamethrower. Yes, even worse than the Backburner, and I hate using that thing. But you know what? I'd be damned if it isn't fun to use. Now, let's see if we can actually get something this time. Oh, soldier! Health! Thank you, Power Jack. Hush, bye! Get back here! Oh, dang it, he got away. Ooh, okay, time to get out of here. And yes, I heard the decloak, but I'm not interested in that right now. So you see, it's usually hit or miss with the flog. Though it's always best to use it when the other team either doesn't know that you're around, or just plain isn't paying attention. Sounds like Spy's job in a nutshell, huh? <laughs> all joking aside, that's pretty much all the flog has going for it. It's a fun gimmick weapon, because really, all it can do in terms of helping the team is just scaring away unprepared enemies. The lack of air blast is a heck of a downside. And as a pyro who relies on their air blast arguably too much, it can be devastating if there are too many projectile based classes on the enemy team. You ask any demo or soldier who knows their stuff how they can counter a flog pyro, and 9 times out of 10, they'll always say bounce and spam. That's been my downfall more often than not. Well, that sniper died quicker than I figured. Oh, and that wombo combo. You know, if there is a single thing a flog can do with the rest of the team, it's comboing together. With all these downsides the flog has, it can be easily controlled if you are within close proximity to the rest of your team. Seems fairly obvious, but I see too many flog pyros try all this stuff on their own. They're just too aggressive, and that is why they constantly die. Where'd that spy go? Ah, never mind. But anyway, as funny as it may sound, to be successful with the flog, you have to be smart about it. Yeah, I know, being smart as pyro, ha ha, shush. Just look at my footage, you can see I barely ever get aggressive unless the rest of the team is there to back me up. A lone wolf can be easily taken down, no matter how powerful you think you are. But if that power is backed up with reinforcements, then it's much more devastating. It's why whenever you see a flog with a pocket medic, all of a sudden it becomes much harder to handle. And unfortunately, it's not something many people can adapt to easily. Pocket flog, however, is a topic for another video. For now, we're going under the assumption that you have no pocket medic. Right now, I'm far too aggressive playing as close as I was to the enemy spawn. Better at that point to retreat since I have little support and half a full flog meter. To break it down, I'm easy pickings without an advantage, and it's why whenever I go flog, I take on a passive-aggressive type of gameplay. The passive part being where I hand back either near our own territory or within the midst of the team and pepper the enemy with scorch shots, 
That and I can also keep an eye open for flankers, as I can take care of them easy. Like this sneaky spoo. Doing this is a slower, but safer way of building the flog. The aggressive part, however, is the fun part, as once you have a full flog, that's when you find a safe place to pop, just before you rush into the enemy. But... Well. Like I said before, it's the roll of the dice. There will be times where you'll get gunned down, but you know what? It's totally fine. Everything that happens in-game is a learning experience, and with each death, you should be adapting. If you keep getting killed one way, try a different route. If you keep getting sniped from across the map, stay out of sight and find a way to force the sniper back. It's the same here. When I use the crits, I have to change up if I want a decent kill streak, or at the very least push them back. Now that soldier killed me before by juggling me into the air, so I now know what he's capable of, so I have to be more cautious of him, especially now that he has a medic. Ah, spy! Save the medic! Dominating. You notice that we've got quite a few spies in this game. Goes to show you don't need an air blast to show these spies who's boss. But hey, we've done real well in this game. In these last few seconds, we need to keep the pressure up. Let's get aggressive. Haha, <laughs> excellent! They really didn't see that one coming. And that's the beauty of the flog. Those are the moments we live for, when you truly catch the enemy off guard. So with all that in mind, let's see what we can do on Nucleus. It seems my team is keeping them busy, so I guess I'll just cap the point. It has been a while since the last time I went flog on King of the Hill. I don't tend to recommend it with all the open spaces. I may have a scorch shot, but against a sniper rifle, I may as well be using harsh language. Oh, those poor snipers. I almost feel bad for them. Almost. Not a fan of sniper, as you've probably guessed, but what do you expect from a class that can do next to nothing at long range? Oh, hey! You coming out? Oh, okay. Well, gotta get out of here. I get it. No taunting snipers. What? What did sniper go? He vanished on me. Sneaky git. This is weird. Last round was too many spies. This round it's too many snipers. It's almost like near enough every game you get an abundance of them. Well, anyway, that aside, let's see what we got over here. Maybe I can flank behind those snipers. They seem focused on my soldier, mostly. Yeah, no! Oh, God! No! No! Go away, please! Um, uh, yes, I totally meant to shoot the wall. I like the little area up here. A nice little enclosed space with an easy escape route. Dang it! Dang it! There we go, now we're cooking. Gotta get that flog going. Ow! Alright, time to leave. Where was that git? I'll get you. Mine! Dancing in front of their spawn is a dangerous game, but it is one I'm willing to play. Ignorance is a great fuel for the flog, after all. You've got to take the opportunities when they are presented to you. I heard that. I see that. Shoot! Off with you! And now for the aggressive part. <laughs> okay. Okay, I deserve that. Hey, no. I'm the flanker around here. Go on, off with you. <laughs> he jumped off and killed himself. Oh lord. I see you, Scout. You can't hide. Come here. Oh, no. Health back. Oh. Huh, if I had the power jack out, maybe I would have made that. Oh well. Had a few people join since last round. Hopefully it'll make things slightly more interesting. Because while smaller teams are unavoidable thanks to Valve's spaghetti system, it makes things slightly more difficult for a flog pyro. 
The more people means more clueless players who have no idea what they're walking into. Means we get to get away with our shenanigans for a bit longer. Yeah, once people understand what it is you're doing, it no longer means you'll have an easy time. Flog is situational, and if the enemy specifically counters it, don't try to force it. You'll only make yourself frustrated. Just change up your loadout at that point. In the meantime, we have new people to terrorize. Not that soldier though, time to leave. There we go, that's what I wanted to do last time. Wonder if he's still there. Oh, Spike! Burn! Just a little more on the flog. Top off my health and let's go. Ah, scout will do. Not a lot you can do as a scout if you blindly run into a pyro. Oh! Okay, pop! Dang it, he's getting away! Come on, flog, it lasts a little longer. Yes! I will take that. Now I gotta go. Oh! It's raining scouts! Oh god, I've gotta get out of here. This is no place for a sophisticated flog pyro. She says as she runs towards the enemy spawn. Cause Risemonger is a smarty. Need that health pack. Ow! That'll do. So long as I have enough health to get me to where I need to go. Yep, no, gotta leave. And there's another spy! No, I'm not dealing with this. I'm gone for real this time. Is that a... No, that's my sniper. Alright. Oh no, a demo knight. I have no way of that. I can't deal with this. He took the health! No! No! Oh, you're gonna regret that. Run, boy. RUN! <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. Good god, how quickly the tables turned there. That's it, there's no topping that. That's the highlights of the video. If you want to know why Flog Pyros do what they do, it's because of that, right there. It's those moments that make the Flog magical. Oh, what a turn of events. And there's that demo again. He wants nothing to do with me. He's terrified. Oh, he got away. But not for long. You shall never escape the wrath of the flog. It really is the little moments that count. And that's why we keep coming back to this weapon. Just moments like that. Well, thank you so much for joining me in my flog shenanigans today. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime... This is Risemonger, signing off.